Well, it's Tuesday. It is. And so we're doing the, the Collector's Attic. And last Sunday we did the show on building the little itty bitty switch lanterns to go on the little itty bitty switch stands for the railroad. And I, I kind of showed the switch stand that's just outside the door over here. Mm. And the question comes up, well, how much of that kind of crap do you have knocking about? And That's the, the $26 question. The answer, as always, is lots. <laughs> <laughs> I've been collecting switch lanterns and, and such marker lights and so on since I was like eight years old. And so being my age now, that's a lot that's of lanterns. That's a lot of collecting. My brother kind of put me onto it because he... Well, he fell in love with Gus Rich's lanterns and we did a show on Gus Rich's Lodge and here's a link to that. Um... But David fell in love with those lanterns, and Gus gave him one of his lanterns, and it just started a whole thing. The next thing I knew, both he and I were collecting switch lanterns, and that was probably 50 switch lanterns ago. Anyway, I want to show you some of the <laughs> switch lanterns that we have knocking about here, and other, other lanterns. Mm. This would fall into the category of other, but if you'll notice, it's... it's it seems to be a railroad lantern. You will see people calling all kinds of lanterns railroad lanterns. Up yonder is a taillight off a truck that I bought off of eBay that said it was a railroad lantern. I, I shouldn't explain how, but I'd, I'd, I'd had a couple of beers. I'd had, I'd, I'd had several beers and I got on eBay and I was just looking for uh, railroad lanterns and this taillight came up and I knew it wasn't a railroad lantern, but I just thought it was neat, so I bought it. And then when it came, I'd forgotten that I bought it. Anyway, this I bought with some intention. These are very common on the railroad. This is the lantern that runs the single semaph semaphores. Okay. So this, uh, it's got a lens on both sides, and it's a white lens, and then the colored lens goes in front of it, and the big arm comes out. Oh. And as the arm goes up and down, that moves different colored gels in front of this to change the color of this. And then there's this impossibly tall ladder, and whoever's tending the lanterns has to climb up there, grab this guy, bring it down, switch it out for another one, bring this one down, refill it with oil, check the wick, do all those things, and the next day they do the same thing over again, because you've got to service these things about every single day. This one's got a little cobweb going on. Anyway, that's what this is. It's a signal semaphore lantern. How about that? So that's pretty neat. Um, here's an odd duck. Now, a lot of people think that these guys are uh, switch lanterns because they look almost like a switch lantern, but the dead giveaway are these arms. It's a caboose marker light. And that would also have been used on, say, a passenger car. And it has two arms because you can put the one arm in to reveal one color of light and the other arm in to reveal. Because not always will the caboose be the last because there's a double section. And so if there's another section of train coming up behind, then they rotate this so it doesn't have red facing back, it has yellow. This one's a bit beat. A little bit, A yes. little used. <laughs> I found it in Denver. Oh. And it was such an orphan. Oh. And it wanted to follow me home. And the antique dealer wanted 25 bucks. Well, that's not bad. It's 25 And I just, I fell in love with it because I love things with lots of rust and character. And that has plenty of both. So how about that? <laughs> but we have a lot of other lanterns around here that are in a bit better shape. This one over here is another caboose marker light, and that's off the Santa Fe. Mm. And that's actually in pretty much mint condition, but it's got the arms on it again, so you can see that it's a, a caboose marker light. And as you can see, it's wired to electric here in the shop, so that when we want to turn on the lanterns, we just throw the switch and all the lanterns come on. And uh, so that is a caboose marker light off Santa Fe, and it's stamped on there, Santa Fe, which is how I know it's off to Santa Fe. Well, interesting, it has a big light. The red light is big, and then the amber lights are small. Yeah, and then uh, because 
you, what you really want to show up is the red on the back saying, this is the end of the train. <laughs> but again, if it's a double section and there's another locomotive right behind this one coming up, you don't want anybody on the ground seeing that red and thinking the track is now clear mm. when there's another locomotive right behind this one. And so you'd turn that so a yellow lens would face Caution. back. So anybody <laughs> down on the ground sees the yellow lens go by and they go, oh boy. One more train. Stay off the track. And sure enough, here comes another well, locomotive. Stay off the track anyway. With the other, <laughs> stay off the track anyway, yeah. But here comes another train with a whole other thing. Mm -hmm. Let's see what other lanterns we have. These are actual switch lanterns, but over yonder is, mm -hmm. but it's, uh, you'll notice it has blue lenses. Those are my favorite, because I like that shade of blue. The, and different railroads had different standards mm -hmm. for things. Uh, interesting to note, the railroads came up with the color scheme long before traffic lights did. Interesting. And it was Lester Wire, a policeman by the name of Lester Wire, and he just took a switch lantern and put it on a pole. Wire? Lester Wire. There's a mountain ride over there named for him. Oh, that's Wire Mountain. That's Wire Mountain. Oh. But he invented the traffic semaphore. Well, cool. But he was a he would uh, he was a cop and he was directing traffic. And at night, no one could see it. So he just stood out there initially with a pole with a switch lantern on it. That's a and, good idea. And but then he had to sort of educate people that red means stop, green means go. If they don't stop, <laughs> because back then you know <laughs> they just drive over the top of him. But most people understood the the railroad, uh, you know, because everybody kind of knew that. And very quickly, people picked up on red means stop. And then he took the lenses out of his lantern, stuck them in a headlight off a locomotive, and hung it from wires out in the middle of the intersection at 2nd South and Main, as I recall. Oh, and that cool. was the world's first traffic signal. There you go, invented right here in Salt Lake Lester City. Lester Wire. <laughs> But it started off with, with one of those. Well, that has blue lenses, I, I digress. Um, the reason it has blue lenses, uh, and different railroads would have different standards, but a lot of times that means derail. Really? Derail. Derail. Yeah, and it's like, why would they have a switch that derails the train? As a kid, I thought that I was misreading and misunderstanding, but sometimes it was a switch that just went 10 feet away from the track and ended and just knocked the train off into the weeds. And more often than not, it was a big piece of steel that went across the rail that would knock the car off and might even knock it over on its side if you're not careful. Oh. I say, why? Why, yeah. Why? Well, if, they, if there's a hill and they're parking cars on it and there's a possibility mm. of a car getting away and rolling free, rather than have it roll out on the main line and go head on into a train, they'd much rather derail it. Right. And so they'd put these derails, and they operated from the same type of switch stand. And some railroads used blue for that. And purple. Because you, and purple. Purple is what I see now, so purple. And white. There's, white? Yeah, wow. so, but different railroads had different standards for different things. Oh, A lot of railroads went white meant green. White meant clear track ahead. Okay. Um, just different railroads with different standards. Wow. But uh, Lester Wire kind of solidified that idea that green means go. <laughs> green means go. <laughs> Red means stop. All right. And most of the railroads were already adopting that. Let's see what other lanterns we have. Right next to that switch lantern is that, that tail light off of the truck. Uh, over yonder is a, a switch stand, a little mini switch stand with an Ad Lake lantern on it. Ad Lakes are my favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, there's hand lands, and there's, this is a hand land here. And this one is an Ad Lake, and I think Ad Lakes are cuter. All the ones I've been building for the railroad are Ad Lakes. Nice. And uh, teeny Ad Lakes. Teeny, teeny, teeny little ones. Ad Lakes. Here's a, here's another Ad Lake with blue lenses again. And uh, this was another one that lights up at night. This is a really interesting marker light. Uh, for those of you who are, know locomotives and stuff, this is a marker light for a locomotive. Mm. And uh, this is off the Denver and Rio Grande narrow gauge. Nice. And uh, my brother found it nailed to a, a fence post. <laughs> <laughs> and just like a turtle on a fence post, you know somebody well, put did, it up yeah, there. How yeah, how did it get there? You don't mm. know how it got up there, but you know somebody put it there. Exactly. Anyway, he came by late uh, by dark of moon and just detached the lantern from the fence and gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I did not reject it. No. 
because it's neat. And then these two would have different colors. Uh, this just has clear lenses on it, which means it's a special train. A special train? Yeah, so sometimes it might be a second section, it might be a special train. It's something that's not on the schedule. Wow. And so the, the, the marker lights on the front of the engine would tell you what kind of train you're mm. looking at. Um, and I don't know the standards, green for a scheduled train, I think, and mm. white for a special. I'm not sure. Because, and there again, different railroads different use railroads. different standards. This one's clear lenses, so it would light up white, therefore uh, like a special. Now, if this is an inspection lantern for just checking your brakes and that sort of thing, this is an odd duck. Uh, people have told me different things about this lantern, but um, they tell me it's something track workers would take out on a hand car or a speeder. And it's just a little tiny, it's got a headlight on one side and a tail light on the other side. It's white on the front and red on the back. And lets well, people know they're there. And there's a little clip so you can hang it on a piece of equipment, but that's all it is. And, wow. and people have told me that's what it's off of, is either a hand car or a speeder. Don't know. If you know, you can jump into comment the comments and, and, and grab that guy. <laughs> no, just comment. Just comment. <laughs> Here's another uh, lantern that's just uh, on the fireplace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I said, lots of different lanterns around. Oh. These lanterns here are uh, brakeman's lanterns. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the, the conductor, the brakeman, anybody riding uh, on the train would need to be able to signal to the locomotive engineer or to other people on the ground with these different lanterns with different colored lenses, typically red because the, the uh, conductor or the brakeman or whoever, uh, and they would swing this side to side or up and down. They had all different hand motions that they do with these lanterns. So oh, cool. everybody had to carry their little, mo but these weren't intended for seeing. Pe a lot of people think it was uh, a something flashlight. A like a flashlight. <laughs> The reason for all the colored glass is so that you could signal people on the ground, but more often than not, it was people on the train, the workers on the train, signaling to the locomotive. They didn't have walkie-talkies mm, or yeah, cell phones or any of that stuff. And so the only way they could signal during the day, they'd wave their arms at each other and even hold out little cloth <laughs> flags, which is actually the origination of the expression semaphore, Oh. Because people had developed a whole language of semaphore That's waving right. flags around yeah. and waving arms around. And the railroads adopted that so the crews could communicate with the trains and so on. And then at night you needed to do that with a lantern in your hand or mm. no one could see your hand moving around. No. <laughs> to indicate the, the different, Not even with a full moon. <laughs> different signals that, that you would be doing to tell the, the locomotive. Well, anyway, there's, there's a... That's a story. There's a smattering. <laughs> of the lantern collection around here. Um, so uh, interesting, and, and there are there's a whole thing about collecting lanterns. There's a whole community oh, of people who collect lanterns. I and, love them, they're just, they're just cool. Well, they're just neat looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're when just, they're lit up at night, it's awesome. And, and if you have that emotional connection to, uh, you know, growing up and watching the, the trains, you know, chugging through the yard and going past the switch lanterns and, mm -hmm the whistles blowing and the, the light glowing. And, and when we were putting that on the railroad, it, it's almost like it brings a tear to your eye, you know? Yeah. You're suddenly back in, in the 1950s and here comes the locomotive chugging down the thing and That's past nice. the switch stand and, and uh, everything smells of creosote and other kinds of stink and <laughs> it's all glorious. <laughs> and, and anyway, so. That's awesome. Lanterns, mm -hmm. just a fun thing to collect. Well, if you haven't been over to the channel, pop on over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, I almost said if you're not a, 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 a collector, if you're not Do a subscriber, <laughs> if you're not a subscriber, here comes the blue button. Are we ready for there it? There it is. Zonk! That blue button will there's make you... There's a blue light. Uh, there's a blue light. It's the blue lens in the lantern. And here we thought Kmart was out of business. Okay, let's do, yeah. the, let's do the zonk again because we've ready, outlived we our button. Okay, zonk! <laughs> The blue lens right there in the derail lantern. It won't derail you, it'll make you a subscriber. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Sunday mm -hmm. with that show. Yeah. We'll see you there. See Something Bye. special Sunday. We'll see you there. Oh, yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>